my toilet system has been flying a little bit too long after after you've flushed and it's refilling so I'm going to take it apart and find out the problem take off the ceramic top because it's a ceramic system turn off the tap which is down the side here turn the grey head which has got WDI written on it and pull it up to the maximum position And there you work under that position. So I've made a tool up here that will unclick the little plastic mechanism that stops you turning it. You need the distance from the end to the top of 110 millimeters. That's the distance down from the top that the plastic mechanism is. So it runs down the side, you have to turn this around here, pull it up and then turn the head anti-clockwise until you hear it click. Now sometimes that's a bit hard because the tube underneath it also twists. should stop before the the outlet, the overflow. The overflow can be twisted and changed, lift up and down to whatever height you require. Twist it. So turn it anti-clockwise, move it, and then turn it clockwise, although you probably don't have to and that locks in position. Alright, stopped well before the overflow. I guess the overflow's got to be lower than this hole. So I'll just put it down a bit lower. Okay, and hopefully that's okay. So here's the little tool I've made. It's got a lip here about 10 millimeters, and it's about five millimeters thick down on this end. So if I have a look there, it's about five millimeters across there to fit the gap. And it needs to be at least 
110 millimetres long, 11 centimetres from there to there, because that will be the top of the system. And it has to reach down 110 to click the little, little plastic tag. This length doesn't matter, but it's handy to have a little handle on the top. And it's made out of 8 millimetre thick, flat mild steel. But you could probably use a little bit of fairly strong wire to do the same job.